You alright there, Emma? No, I'm really cold. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at that, sat, sat in mountains in a bath. There are caves all the way along the side of this cliff. I don't know where we are. Roman is underdressed. <laughs> I'll clean window. <laughs> I'm trying to get window clean and that's so we rock up looking posh. Ah no, that's a big so we're just driving through this very little Spanish village called Travesia. Absolutely beautiful. Good morning. Morning, guys. <laughs> We've had a fantastic park up last night. We're in a place called Casa Rural La Fuente de Anadio. Um, if I've pronounced that right, I've tried my best anyway. It's, it's <laughs> high up in the northern Spanish mountains. Um, we woke up this morning to an absolutely breathtaking oh. sunrise. So it's a little car park basically up in the mountains. Um, that's that's like all the camper vans park up there basically you do have to pay a 10 pound a night um but it's, it's really good though it's to be well fair. worth it it is well worth it and i think when it's a village like in the middle of nowhere like this they have to make some money in some way or other and i think for 10 euros you've got a free outside shower you've got free water you can use electricity for like two euros for two hours or three hours or something like that um for like hook up um you've got toilets you've basically got everything Thing that you can possibly need here and it's really safe and you are surrounded by 360 degrees mountains it is absolutely outstanding absolutely outstanding so we're gonna go now because we've found some hidden natural thermal pools up in the mountains getting here um it is quite a narrow road so you start off on like a kind of dual carriageway and then it turns into a single track road um it, it well single lane road but it it's quite narrow but it's not difficult it's really not difficult the roads are pretty good quality they're actually redoing one of the roads coming in here the road does snake around the mountain and there are there are drops so that there's no surprises if you do kind of come here and try and find this um but there's a really safe barrier at the side of here the road's in perfect condition um, and it's just like driving on any other road really um so you know don't let that put you off if you are wanting to do these you know the kind of mountains and the mountain roads in spain and france um because it is really easy you just you just treat it as any other road and let the road take you around the mountain this place is on park for night it says it's really difficult to get in it's a really steep hill and and, and people will panic with that. The steep hill is just up to the car park. It's And it's not that steep. It's not that bad. It, to be honest, I'd just give it a go because driving here is like driving through Jurassic Park. It's absolutely astounding. There's lots of beautiful horses around here. Um, these lot are just coming out for the, for the breakfast. Literally just at the edge of where you stay. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> High up in these mountains, hidden away, these little kind of thermal pools. I'm not quite sure how they're hotting up, but they're really, really hot, like natural baths, I guess. It's good, isn't it? It's lovely. It's like being in a bath. I'm so glad we've come down in the morning though and that it's not like too because if it's too hot I think you just won't enjoy it. No. But it's meant to be really healing, it's meant to have like really healing properties. In some of them um, that you find people um, just drink the, they drink the water as well as bathing in it. I don't think I'd fancy doing that but it's, it is absolutely beautiful. It's just it's like being in a red dot bath. 
Look at my hair, I look like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> Down at the bottom, it's cooler. Yeah. And the more you move your hands around, the more sort of lukewarm it becomes. You need to stay really still. It seems to be hotter near the edges as well. Like that is red hot there where my hand is. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's like cool underneath and then hot in certain areas. It's really weird. Daisy's is in a little carry basket. Look at that, sat, sat in mountains in a bath. <laughs> this is lovely. This is the first hot bath I've had since uh, I don't know how long. These, oh, ro these rocks are like moving. Red hot. It's all bubbles coming up from the bottom. It's absolutely red hot. That is lovely. doing <laughs> I'm really really cold and I don't want to get muck on my feet <laughs> why is it so cold when you get out Spain has been absolutely unbelievable from the breathtaking mountains of Andalusia to the coast to overlooking North Africa at sunset and watching the sunrise over the beautiful mountains here it's been incredible. I'm definitely it? glad that we went down and did the south of Spain this time oh, yeah, it, well, well it, we've never it. done that before and I will definitely definitely go back and um, we've met some really beautiful souls along yeah, the way okay. as well um and i appreciate every encounter we've had it is and the the amazing amazing views and experiences things that you'll just never forget for the rest of your life which is what it's all about isn't it? that's yeah. what that's what life is all Definitely. about experiencing these encounters yeah encounters yeah ex these beautiful views and it's you know i know we all have to do the things we have to do to bring the money in and everything else and live day-to-day -day life but these are the things that you're going to remember on your deathbed these are the experiences that you've got you're never ever going to forget um not getting up and wishing that you'd worked a bit harder or wishing that you'd got that better car or that better house or yeah. whatever it is this is what it's all about so heading on now anyway aren't we yeah we are heading to france we are going to explore the bordeaux region so let's go there now i'm a traveling spirit i've seen many shores from the west pacific to there are caves all the way along the side of this cliff um and they've got like proper doors and stuff on on the entrance to them and like solar panels Outside a, inside a cliff face where people are living. To the island of Kenya, they treat me like a son anywhere I go. And even though no one can tell, I still feel that I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. Well, we are through the Pyrenees, rather uneventfully. <laughs> and we've just crossed the border into France. So we're going to see if we can find somewhere to pull over um, and have something to eat because we're absolutely starving now. That time we got stuck going round and round and round Pyrenees, I think that was just a freak thing, you know. I don't think you can actually do that unless you really try hard to do it. I don't think you can end up where you're going round and round and round a mountain. I think we ended up in some tiny little small village that probably nobody's ever been to. And that's why we ended up having to go around that mountain. I'm really relieved my sat nav's still working because I've got a Spanish sim in it and he said they said it didn't work in France. And I haven't got any more data, so in English data, so I'm hoping <laughs> that it's gonna it's gonna keep working. We're in the south of Bordeaux um, and there's lots and lots and lots of grapes here, which is really good because I like grapes. <laughs> you don't like wine though. I don't like wine but I love grapes. I had some grapes in Spain and I was right looking forward to them. They were massive grapes. I thought, oh they're going to be really nice on the one. So I'm looking forward here to getting grapes because everything you can see here is all grapes, I think. So that's what I'm looking forward to most about France. In Andalusia, as far as the eye could see, was tomatoes. Um, in France, it's vineyards. We're just driving along and Reese is like, 
This is like absolute perfection here, like it's really not posh. Us, it's not us, isn't it? This is, this too is posh Roman, he's underdressed. <laughs> I'll clean window. <laughs> I'm trying to get window clean and that, so we rock up looking posh. We're, we're trying to go to a, a vineyard place that's apparently got a pool and you can taste some wine and stuff like that, which we never like normally wine. do. Like anybody that normally watches us knows that that's just way out of our comfort league. I'm in blue shorts that I've been swimming in, a t shirt that I've driven a thousand miles in. And, uh, and Rome and he hadn't had a wash for a month. This, this is like proper royalty, isn't it? We normally go, just to put it in perspective, we normally go on the east side of France, which is not this. This is very, <laughs> very, very, very posh, isn't it? This feels more like a motorhome type place, doesn't it? You know where you've got cream carpets cream and you carpets, take your shoes off? Cream carpets, take your shoes off. When you get in. You've brought your white dressing gown and your own glass with wine. This is you, innit? Yeah, this is, oh, it's like that woman that were next to us the other night that um, put placemats out. <laughs> when, <laughs> placemats on picnic benches. Placemats and right nice matching cutlery out of a box and everything. Yeah. 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 Them kind of people that take a picnic set to park Everything's in order. Yeah, we're not and them it's a people. Full picnic set. I'm not criticising no, them no, people, no. but I'm not that That's person. That's not us. We're, we're a flask we're, of coffee. We're, we're not oh, even we're a flask, flask to be fair. We're, not a flask. we're like, you know, jump in river, get a quick out. wash, and hope for best. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm happier getting washed in a river than I am in a shower. You we, know, it's, we can't yeah. stay here tonight. Look at <laughs> We can't rock up like this, can't Roman we? is covered in half of bugs from Spain. <laughs> we, can't, we can't rock up to a wine tasting vineyard. It's even got its own swimming pool. Like, they're not going to even let me in pool, are they? These roads are getting very pretty, but it's also getting very narrow. <laughs> I don't know where we are. I don't know if we're, if we're at the right place. <laughs> Oh what what we are, it's like it's like a royal entrance. It says you go through here. Very confused. There you go, look it's got a motor arm on it. I really hope they have space after all this. It looks very posh. Look at this. Well, we've just arrived and um, we've met the owner of this vineyard uh, where he leases out basically people to come and stay on park for night. Um, it's 10 euros. You've got access to a swimming pool. And the, the, honestly, the owner here and his son, what amazing people, absolutely amazing. His son speaks a little bit of English. The owner speaks no English whatsoever. So we've had to be using Google Translate, which were quite funny. Um, but so welcoming, so nice, such beautiful people. Definitely worth paying 10 euros a night, I have to say, and miles better than any campsite you're gonna find. It's just literally you're welcomed into their home on their land, um, you've got free use of the swimming pool. He makes his own wine here um, and gives you free wine tasting, so I'm a little bit slozzled. <laughs> I've only had like one glass. <laughs> But it is the nicest wine. I don't like wine. I absolutely hate wine. But it is the nicest wine I have ever had. It was absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. Um, so we're going to buy a few bottles of that and take it home for our uh, friends, I think. Um, take some back to the UK. Um, and then we can give people some, uh, some wine from France. Properly from France. From a vineyard. Not from Spa. Not from Co-op or any other supermarket chain <laughs> but from france from a vineyard absolutely brilliant just amazing like genuinely amazing just to come and and because it's not it's not a campsite and it's not like just wild camping like we would normally do this is somebody's home and and it's beautiful we'll show you in the morning um, and he's got his own vineyard and just the nicest even though we couldn't we don't speak french and he couldn't speak english we were communicating through like i said through google and stuff and just the nicest man and the nicest family you would ever meet lovely lovely people and you really feel like you're in the heart of france you know and really kind of getting that that proper experience that you just won't get on a campsite over in wherever or a hotel or whatever i don't know if we're just lucky um i, I don't really know but we seem to always meet really really nice people um, it's very rare we come across anybody that's not welcoming. I think it's that the world is actually a nice place. I think there's more nice people in this world than what we all think, really. 
um, you kind of go around, don't you? You know, through various streams of media, um, kind of drilling in fear and that the world's a horrible place. And actually, from our experience of traveling, the world's not a horrible place. It's a beautiful place with beautiful people in it. Morning. What a place to wake up to. This is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next week, Monday, 8 pm, for more adventures. <laughs>